Strong monsoon storms have wreaked havoc, causing extensive damage and fallen trees all across the valley. Yeah, you've seen it driving around, and one Peoria company works on saving what they can to build unique furniture pieces. Stephanie Olmo is live tonight with more. Steph. John and Christina, Apple Blossom Woodworks. They focus on saving Arizona trees that have so much history by building custom furniture meant to last generations. Repurposing storm damaged trees. That's what Philip Glassmeyer has been doing for two decades. We really love taking these resources, keeping them out of the landfill and building beautiful things with them. Building beautiful pieces, but not just with any tree. It's the hardwood trees like mesquite, willow acacia, Indian rosewood, Arizona ash, and we take those, we recover them. Recover them to last for years and create special memories. A table like this one that's right here, this coffee table, People are going to have conversations about where their kids are going to go to college, where they're going to go for retirement, Christmas mornings. I mean, a lot of cool stuff is going to happen around these pieces. Glassmeyer came up with the idea of repurposing wood back in 2004 when he was in St. Louis. I was studying in a library and I saw a bunch of oak trees being removed for a parking lot and about to go into this gigantic chipper and I was like, no, this can't happen. That's when it all clicked for him. He saved the trees from going to the landfill and built every piece of furniture in his house. Now he owns Apple Blossom Woodworks in Peoria and enjoys getting to build unique pieces like this, especially from trees that have so much history. Just last week, someone in Queen Creek called and said our 30 year old mesquite tree fell and we'd love a dining room table and chairs. Can you do it? And so we went, recovered the wood, we marked it, and uh, about six months from now, we'll deliver. Glassmeyer says so far this season, they have revived around 60,000 pounds of logs, enough material for the next 12 months. Reporting live tonight, I'm Stephanie Omo, Fox 10 News.